This presentation was given at the Springville Museum of Art at the Evening for Educators in the month of October in 2006. What is an artist statement? <laughs> I feel like I've always thought of it as something like it's the why, how, and like what inspires you to create. Like it's kind of describing what you do and why you do it. I don't know what I think. An artist statement is when an artist kind of explains why they did what they did and kind of a bit of the motivation and meaning behind their piece and their general works. I think most of it's made up. Uh, what you explain about your art project or give like a small description about it? Like the things that you like or something that inspires you when you're drawing. <laughs> okay. Uh, what makes a successful artist statement is sticking true to yourself and to your art and what you do. Um, the kind of materials that you use and um, probably what you think about when you're making the art because I think that's important. Um, it's it's showing that what you what you meant when you were creating the art. Yeah, I think they're important because they. Um, help people to understand what the artist was going for and what inspired them. I think artist statements are important um, because, you know, it gives you kind of like a glimpse into the artists and like uh, what they're thinking and, you know, things like that. <laughs> These following statements were pulled from the internet from professional and uh, college student statements of purpose that really are very difficult to understand. The artist statements are actually very difficult to understand and I use these as an example that what we should ask our students to do should be clear, should really convey the, what they're thinking and not try to be uh, covert about their meaning, but should be straightforward with what they want people to understand from their work. So this uh, is what I use to lead into what are artist statements and how do you help students to start to identify who and what they are. Because ultimately what we want students to do is to convey the personality, that personality hopefully that we see in their own their artwork. the medium they choose, the format, the composition, the scale, the size, and of course the subject matter. Con it conveys their personality and their perspective. Here are the three questions I ask my students to consider while they're writing their statements. It helps people to understand their perspective and why they've done what they've done in their work. One thing I've done to help guide my students in writing their perspective so I understand their creative process is I give them a camera or have them use their own phones to create a digital storytelling uh, event where they show me their creative process, where they create, uh, what inspires them, and what motivates them to make works. And the following examples are just a few. As students take me a tour on their spaces, which are very different from each other, and what they have around them to inspire their work, I get an idea of their uh, aesthetic leanings and tendencies, and how I might be able to guide them in not only the work in the class, but writing their artist statements. It becomes very helpful, it gives me an insight that I couldn't get otherwise. Not only uh, the view I get into their creative 
environment, their room or their studio or their basement or the garage, but uh, the way they construct their storytelling abilities, uh, the way they uh, put together the film helps me to understand a little bit about who they are and, and what might inspire them. And So with this background, then I guide them through the steps of describing and telling how and what ideas connect and their goals for their work and their thoughts behind the work and the end results after they've finished the work. These are good places to uh, have students start in formulating their artist statements and helping them to understand that sharing that process is very helpful. A local museum that has a annual show has started to ask for artist statements and I think that's been a great uh, help in having students understanding that the big idea behind their work is as important as the way they articulate that idea. And getting students to start to write their thoughts and to include that in their visual journals uh, has been very helpful for me as a teacher but also it helps them at the end to be able to really uh, have a meaningful experience in writing their statement of purpose as an artist. So ultimately when people see their work and they can see that the process is not that difficult, it's just thinking through why they did what they did and how they did it and, and the end result and how they feel about their work and the conclusion of the process and that, that that's an ongoing process that uh, after they've made one work, they're jumping to the next, that hopefully if they're doing some self-evaluation that can happen during an artist statement, not only is it for an audience and a viewer, but also for themselves to help chronicle their journey and that they start to see the journey as the destination that they are traveling in their work and sharing that journey with, and sharing that journey with others. and. Uh, that can be a very meaningful process, uh, builds a lifelong skill as a, an artist, or if they don't continue in the arts, it becomes something in which they are able to understand the value of reading artists' statements in museums and in galleries. So again, the three things I ask students to do is why they create, what inspires you, and ultimately, where did you create? What's the space that you uh, wanted to create with your work?